Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my top five knives for 2019. So this is a really big year uh, in knives for me. I've probably been through about 30 this year, maybe more. Um, a lot of those have gone, a few of those have stayed. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what my favorite purchases of, uh, of this year have been. All right, so in the number five slot, we have the Medford Dress Marauder. Never really thought I would have owned a Medford, to be honest. Um, but this one really, really took me by surprise. I went and tried a few at uh, Hellacious Blades, um, a shop that's a few hours away from me. And I was very, very impressed with um, some of the Medfords there. A lot of them were just kind of bland. Um, but one of them really impressed me, and that was the Medford Heiress, which is actually tinier than this. Um, but those are uh, seemingly pretty hard to find on the used market, and I really didn't feel like paying $500 for one new. <clears throat> So I managed to get this. This is a Medford Dress Marauder. It is very, very small, um, especially for a Medford. Um, I'll show you here next to the Victorinox Classic SD, and a, a review will be coming up of this at some point. It has a lot of flaws with it, um, a lot, a lot of flaws with it, but I really, really like it, and I, I can't quite pinpoint why yet, to be honest. Um, but it's, it's just a really, really good knife. You can still get these. However, this one has the old style clip, which is probably one of my favorite things about this. Um, I've lent this to a couple people now, and they really, really hate this clip. Um, but I really, really, really like it. It's probably my favorite part of the knife. That, and you can spidey flick it. Um, so the, the knife just barely fits my hand, um, thanks to that enormous uh, kind of chunk of the blade taken out to form a choil there. Um, but I really, really like it. It's probably one of my uh, most carried knives this year for sure, and it's definitely, definitely earned its spot um, in the top five. Next up, another knife I really didn't ever see myself getting, but I got one. Um, this is the Kaiser T1. So there were there was a uh, buy one, get one free deal on these. Um, so me and a friend uh, went in half seas on these, and I ended up getting it for like under 80 bucks. Um, I did this really uh weird anodizing color on it it's like a if my fingerprints weren't all over it <laughs> it's like reddish copper it's really really crazy um but this knife honestly uh really really blew me away and it, it's up here with some with some very very expensive stuff of uh, the medford for example again 500 dollars new this is like 170 bucks i think or so um you might be able to find them a little bit less at places like indiana knives but this knife is just astounding. The action's good. Uh, fit and finish is excellent. <clears throat> I had a friend crown the spine on this one for me, and it it's just it's beautiful. I I absolutely love this knife. Um, it's it's just it's a perfect everyday carry. Um, and I really didn't have any issues with it at all. I've had some issues with Kaisers in the past, but this one's probably the best Kaiser I've ever had. And if you've been looking at one, you can find a good deal on one. Definitely pick one up. Very, very nice piece. Next up, the Spyderco McB. So I had wanted one of these for a very, very long time. Pretty much since they were announced, they sold out very, very quickly, and they didn't do another batch for a long time. Um, this year, I did manage to get one. Um, I got one from Jonathan McNeese, who's the uh, designer of the custom version. This is based off of the Killer Bee. And he was kind enough to uh, laser engrave this honeycomb pattern and add some jimping, so this little thing... If I can get it, can be front flipped. A little bit harder to do under camera, um, but I really, really like this little knife. It's a great little watch pocket knife. I anodized it to like a gold color, um, and it's it's just it's crazy. I, I love it to death. Um, I can really only get a two finger grip on it. It looks a little silly in my hand for sure, um, but it's so utilitarian. I, I use this knife probably more than any other knife that I have. Um, usually, it's just for cutting small stuff on a desk literally put my finger like this and get you kind of score paper or whatever um but this this thing's crazy and a lot of people really really don't like these and i, I get that um it's certainly a, a refined taste kind of thing um but a lot of the little details on this really get me like the texturing on the lock bar and the lock bar relief uh the pivot i, I really think the honeycomb goes really really well with this and kind of makes it pop um Definitely, definitely one of my favorite knives of the year, and it's, it's, ugh, I love this one. If, if you're on the fence about this one, and you like smaller knives, definitely pick this up. 
Um, the clip I could do without sometimes, but the knife itself is great. Number two, this is the Vero Impulse. I ordered this earlier this year, and it's come in within the last couple of months. Um, really kind of cool little knife. So I've been following the uh, design of this knife, uh, the progression of it on Reddit. Um, the guy, Joseph Vero, who designed the knife, um, he posted pretty much you know, all the steps in his process on Reddit as it was kind of developing and took some feedback. And this was the final result. Um, it is a very, very pretty knife. Aesthetically, I love it. Um, I went with the like 80s finish, which is uh, a pinkish purple with blue scales. And you can kind of see it there. Definitely see it some more on the, the clip side. Um, but this is a really, really cool knife. It has a, a very compact flipper tab a strange kind of tonto blade shape it's a little weird it works really really well though um a smock-esque uh handle area because you kind of you can grip up here but it's not great and um probably one of my favorite features of this there's a little pocket on the lock side of the blade so that you can spidey flick it and hit your tripod um but yeah, really, really cool piece. I really, really like it. The aesthetic works really, really great for me. Same thing with a lot of other knives on this list. A lot of people hate this one. And uh, I get that. I understand it. But for this one for me is one of the one of the best ones I've handled this year. I really, really like this piece. Okay, number one. So what will number one be? Number one is a knife that I honestly didn't think I would get. But then I started watching other people's videos on it. And I was like, oh my gosh. Kind of have to get this one. I got a really good deal on it. So, number one is the Spyderco Pison. Um, as you can tell, this isn't really normally my uh, knife aesthetic if you compare it to that one or that one. Um, it's a little bit quieter than the stuff I normally like. <clears throat> if you've seen my Millet Torrent, you know that. But this knife is so good. Oh my gosh. A little thick behind the edge for sure. But I really haven't noticed any issue with it in my day-to-day -day use. The handle is about a perfect length for me. I really, really like it. Uh, there is some sticking out at the back. My hand just kind of covers it up. Um, but size-wise, it's great for me. My thumb fits right on the jimping there. It just feels so natural to use this knife for me. Um, the clip that came with it wasn't great, uh, but I did put a another clip on there. And the action on this thing, because the blade is so darn heavy, is really drop shut. Um, <clears throat> but this is a Lynch clip. It fits it perfectly, and it's probably one of the best clips I've ever used in my life. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. Uh, this is my first integral, and to be honest, the integral thing I really don't care about. Um, even holding it in hand, I don't notice a ton, but the knife itself is is fantastic. Um, it's a little pricey for sure. I think new these are like five twenty, which is ugh, that's pretty up there. Um, but this is the knife on this list that I've uh, carried the most. Maybe in line with the McB, I usually carry them together actually. Um, but it's it's really really taking up a lot of my pocket time this year, and I I've, I've fallen in love with it. So just to recap, at number one we have the Spyderco Python. See if all these will fit on the screen here. Probably not. At number two, we have the Vero Impulse. Let's see if I can count that down a little bit. Number three was the Spider Co McB. Number four was the Kaiser T1. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go through all these. And number five, oh gosh. What's the Medford Dress Marauder? <laughs> so <clears throat> all of these knives, um, they, they've really, really impressed me this year. Um, I'm, I'm really wanting to buy more stuff from Medford. Um, not very much, honestly. Um, I'm only looking at about two or three models of his. Most of his stuff's way too big, and a lot of the stuff I tried was just mediocre at best. Um, but some of the used prices are pretty good. Um, I'm really looking forward to more Spyderco stuff. This past year, they've, they've really, really blown it out of the water. I picked up a lot of knives from them this year, probably about six or seven. Um, 
but these two were the, the ones that impressed me the most. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Joseph Vero does next. Uh, there are a few tweaks that could be made to this to make it a bit more ergonomic, a bit more usable in my opinion. And this Kaiser T1, I've tried a lot of Kaisers that have just been meh. But this one, this one's really, really good. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions involving any of these knives, uh, just let me know down in the comments. And I would really, really like to know your top five for the year. Anything that you picked up this year, just list it down there. You know, cheap, uh, expensive, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you like, whatever you've carried the most, whatever you've used the most, whatever you've enjoyed the most. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful new year. Thanks, guys. Bye.